So welcome back to my new video on methods. Um, go support methods defined on strat types. Okay, so um, let's jump into the ID so that you can um, actually visualize what exactly I mean by go supporting a method defined on strat types. So I mean the um, IDE and then inside the um, YouTube directory, I'm going to create another directory called methods. And inside that method, I'm going to create our Go file. I'm going to call it main. Okay. So I'm going to define a, a rectangle type, okay? Strat type. And I'm going to call it rectangle. All right. And we all know rectangle has width of integer and height integer. Okay, that's our strat. And I'm going to define another function called area. But as part of the area, as part of the area, um, I'm going to pass in the rectangle strat object inside this empty bracket. And this is the actual um, function name for this uh, function. So this function doesn't take anything. Uh, the area function doesn't take any parameters and it's going to return an integer. So within this bracket, I'm going to call the struct um, objects and call it rect and then call it rectangle. Okay, let me make it cap so that we can exactly know what we, we're doing. Okay, so once I'm able to pass this rectangle struct object here, I can assess whatever uh, fields are inside this uh, rectangle struct. So to calculate the area of this uh, rectangle, I'm going to do return rect dot width times rect dot height. So virtually we are just doing width times height. Okay, so that is all we're doing. So if we want to calculate the um, area of this rectangle, all we do is we create another rectangle object in here. We call it rect. And um, let me do it a one-liner. Um, so we're going to have width. Um, the value we can specify as um, 25. And then the height, we can specify that as what, um, let's call it 30, okay? So now, if you wanna calculate the area of this rectangle, all we'll do is um, FMT area of rectangle is R dot the area. So as you can see, um, we have the area. We are using this um, strat object to assess our area, okay? Which returns an integer. So um, basically that, that is it. So if we also want to calculate the perimeter of this rectangle, we're going to define a method name called perim which is the same as, okay, let's make it perimeter. It also returns an integer. And then within this empty brackets, we're gonna pass in our rectangle 
Okay, so the perimeter, we know that it is two times the width plus two times the height. So we're going to return two times rect dot width plus two times rect dot height. Okay, so this is how you calculate the perimeter of, um, of a rectangle. Okay, so all we're doing here is two times width, width plus two times height, which is going to give us a parameter. So now we can now print perimeter of rectangle is r dot perimeter. So you can see the two methods that are defined. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, so as you can see on the left, we have two methods, area and perimeter and then the strut rectangle and then the main method okay so so now if we run this um, code as you can see the area of the rectangle is 750 and then the perimeter is at 110. yeah so um that is all i have for you um so as a recap, um, we define a, a rectangle as a struct with, with the width and then the height as the fields. And then we have, we define two functions. One is, a, is an area of the rectangle, and then the other one is the perimeter. And then um, to assess the fields of the rectangle struct, we we pass in the rectangle object and then the struct itself. And then within the function body, we assess the width and then the height. Same applies to the width and then the height. And then we did our calculation in here and then we return whatever value we get as an integer. So all these two functions, their return type is an integer, okay? And then we declare our, or we initialize our, okay, initialize our strat, our strat rectangle, okay? So we initialize our strat, and then we assign it to a variable called R, and then we use that objects to assess the area of the rectangle and then the perimeter of the rectangle. Um, yeah, so that is all for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one.